In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the properties of a via and how to make the metal that the via will use. To demonstrate vias, we're going to start with a very simple circuit. This circuit just has two feed lines with an elevation change between the two. We're going to add a via right here to connect the two. So we'll start that. We'll go back over here to the 2D view. Zoom in a bit. We'll add a via. Notice we've selected it to go down one level. We will just select the option to go up one, up one level instead. We select the via tool. We go ahead and draw the via in there. Now, if you notice, the via is a different metal than the two feed lines. In this case, the feed lines are gold and the via is lossless. Well, we want the via to be gold also. So we need to go up to circuit, metal types, and add a via metal for gold. We have a planar metal for gold, but we need a via metal for gold. Easiest way to do that is to select the gold and press copy. It automatically offers to create a copy of that metal as a via metal. So I'll click OK and as you see the editor comes up for via metal. It's gold. The model type is volume. We'll talk about more of that more about that later. The conductivity is the conductivity of gold. We have a wall thickness of one mil. Basically wall thickness when you do a volume when you do a volume metal you're getting a hollow tube for your via. So this hollow tube is going to have a wall thickness of two mils. We can set the default for all new vias to be gold. So if in the future we make more, we'll, we won't have to go back and set it again. You could also do the same thing for planar metals. Okay, so now to change it to to gold, we double click on it. Right here, this property right here says via metal. So we go in there and we see gold, the one we just added. And now we have a gold via. Now there's other options too. We can turn pads on and off. So pads will fill the top and the bottom. If you notice right there that now it got filled. The top and the bottom of the via automatically with a, with a plate with a plate of metal. I'll turn that off again so you can see. Watch over here. Turn off. I push apply. The, the via is now open. Well, let's, leave, let's leave it off. The other option is the meshing. The default is ring, which is one cell wide all the way around the outside. The next one is vertices, which is each corner of the via gets a cell subsection. Now if this was a hexagon or a circle like with 32 sides, you'd have 32 all the way around the outside. Center just puts one cell subsection right in the middle. No matter what the shape of it is, you're going to just get one in the middle and full. Full is just obvious. It fills up the whole thing. This is certainly the most um, intensive as far as processing goes. Um, <clears throat> Some things that's sometimes that's what you need though. This is certainly the least intensive, least lowest amount of memory, but probably the least accurate. We feel that for most cases, ring is probably what you want. In order to demonstrate, I'll, I'll click through a bunch of them here. Um, here's here's center. So center now shows a a cell that's the closest you could get to the center because we had an, uh, an odd number of cells across here. If I go back and set it to vertices you'll see we get four in each corner. Now notice that the 2D view, or the 3D view doesn't show the subsections. The, three, the 3D view just simply shows what, uh, what you drew. It never does the subsections. And then, uh, I don't know, finally we'll go to the full. Oops, didn't mean to move it. Control Z, put it back. And then we'll go back to the very beginning again where we started, which is the ring. Okay, let's look at the metals some more. Back to metal types in the circuit in the circuit menu. Double click on gold. Again, we picked volume. 
So volume said that we're going to analyze it as a hollow tube, in this case, since we had a wall thickness set of 2 mils. If we did solid, then it would no longer be a hollow tube, but just it would analyze it as if it were a solid all the way through. Now that's this is different than the subsections. The subsections are how EM simulates it, but as far as the loss is concerned, um, these this would the loss would be as if it was a solid as opposed to a hollow tube. The other choice is there's a surface which is a hollow tube that's infinitely thin. And in this case you set the um, the parameters with this RDC, RRF, and XTC. Um, old time sonnet users is, were very familiar with this. This, this is a, a very sonnet way of specifying the metal types. And it's still useful for a lot of people. And the final one is array, and it is it's a very special purpose thing. It's for simulating an array of vias with only one via. This type of metal is automatically generated when using the via simplification feature in the uh, interfaces and the translators. That concludes this video on via properties. For more training and quick tip videos, please visit sonnetsoftware.com video.